So currently we're using it mostly for correspondence and kind of individually, not collectively. But we have a, um, we have a technology governance committee that is comprised of all of um, our different departments and not necessarily the leaders of the department, but like a technology champion from each department. And it is a topic that our governance committee is um, working on. So our, our IT uh, team, they continue to explore AI and try and see where the proper applications that we can apply it. Uh, anything that can lead to an efficiency or, or make us more effective. Uh, they're exploring and they're looking at that, but at this point we don't have any direct application of AI in any of our processes. So yes, as a matter of fact, we are using AI to improve our service delivery, to increase decision making, and also uh, just to help foster innovation. One of the things that we recently did was develop an AI policy, and that addresses some things such as security, uh, professional use, and, and a host of other things. So my assumption is that we borrowed it from another jurisdiction. If somebody else would like to borrow ours, they're more than welcome to have it. Starting off with policies. So right now we have policies that we have used from best practices from other municipalities that we are going to be implementing in St. Cloud. So that's going to be our base. And from there, we're going to explore the tools that we can implement based on those policies to make sure that we do it successfully and without any, ty any type of consequences. Because it is new technology, so you want to be careful and make sure that you do it right. So, so I think our stance is we are just now getting into the AI pool, so to speak. I know it's been out for over a year, but you know we do use some of it like when, for our traffic management, for our license plate readers that help us um, track down vehicles throughout the city, which has been extremely helpful. But as you talk about using AI for things other than just um, administrative tasks, when you talk about writing press releases, sure, and you know maybe some budget introduction language, that's fine. I think that as we all sort of grow with it, we just need to be mindful of whether it's the regulations or the ethical commitments into it and the creativity of it. We just want to make sure that local government has the right guardrails to be the most successful.